they'll just they'll come on stage. Uh, good morning. This is a great morning to be here. I'm happy to be here on behalf of Mayor de Blasio, standing with the New York City Transit Senior Vice President of Buses, Daryl Eirich, and as you can see, an impressive array of elected officials and community board officials as we celebrate the launch of the city's latest select bus service here along 86th Street. Again, I, I think I won't, we have so many folks here, I'll just, I won't recognize them all individually. We'll do that as we call them up to speak. But as you can see, we have a tremendous important array of partners here, our borough president, council members, members of the assembly, the Senate, and the local community board. This SPS route is going to be a great step forward in the city. 86th Street is the second busiest corridor, second busiest bus corridor in Manhattan with over 24,000 daily riders. It has the most riders per mile of any bus route. As you all know, this will now be the eighth select bus service route that the city has opened up in partnership with the MTA. We're now, we, we've estimated we've saved three and a half million hours of travel time for New York City bus riderships. We've increased bus ridership by about 20,000 passengers per day. And today we're going to roll it out on 86th Street. I'm happy to say the buses are already rolling and uh, you can see we have our equipment up. With this new service, riders will now have improved cross-town travel times. And as you all know, that's one of the biggest challenges of bus travel and just vehicular travel in general in Manhattan. They'll be connected to 12 other bus routes and six different transit lines. They'll have access to real-time bus information, as you can see from the monitor behind us. And they'll, and they'll be able to buy your tickets for the bus. You'll have off-board fare collection, which will speed up the process of getting onto the bus. Any of you who ride along this route know that bus drivers often line up down the block waiting to swipe their metro cards. We're proud with the results we've gotten for the SBS program around the city for pretty modest investments. We've been able to improve travel time often by as much as 20% and improve bus ridership by around 10%. And as you all know, buses are certainly the most efficient way to travel around the streets of New York since your average bus in New York City can carry about 70 people. I want to thank my mayor, Mayor de Blasio. This would not be possible without his support and about the wonderful partners we had at the MTA with Daryl and Carmen Bianco. And I also want to say we're looking forward to a couple of other select bus service, this, bus service routes this year. We're hoping later this year we'll be announcing the launch of the Bronx to Flushing, Jamaica in Queens and Utica Avenue. And of course, we're also working on what is going to be, we hope, a big signature SBS route, more like bus rapid transit in Woodhaven Boulevard in Queens. Before I call on the many, before I call on Daryl and the elected officials here, I also want to take a minute to thank the DOT team for their incredible work on this. And I want maybe they'll raise their hands over there. Eric Beaton, Jeffrey Peel, Carrie Tyler, and our own amazing Manhattan Borough Commissioner, Margaret Forgio. So let's give them a hand. All right, now I'd like to call up Daryl, New York City Transit Senior Vice President of Buses and a wonderful partner for us, really, every day of the week. Come on up, Daryl. Good morning. I am pleased to join New York City Department of Transportation Commissioner Polly Trottenberg here today. We are here to launch select bus service on the M86. It's the second crosstown route to be upgraded to select bus service. SBS is a joint partnership between the MTA and New York City DOT. SBS is our brand for a package of improvements that result in faster and more reliable bus service on higher ridership routes. Today marks or uh, launches the 8th SBS route, touching all five boroughs. SBS routes ferry carry close to a quarter million riders every weekday. On an average weekday, the M86 carries more than 24,000 riders, which makes it the second busiest crosstown route in New York City. Before SBS, the M86 spent almost half, something like 49% of its travel time stopped in traffic or at red light or at a bus stop waiting for riders to board and pay their fare. Now riders can pay their fare before they board the bus, greatly reducing the time spent waiting at bus stops. Short segments of the bus lanes will, be, will improve bus speeds and reliability. The M86 service will continue to operate 24 hours, 7 days a week. SBS will not change the stops served by the M86. There are 14 eastbound stops and 13 westbound stops. All M86 buses are new articulated vehicles with low floors and three doors. 
After paying at one of our off-board fare machines, riders can then board through any of the three doors. We are delighted to bring SBS enhancements to the M86 bus route. We look forward to our M86 riders benefiting from the upgrades we have brought to our previous seven SBS routes. By co combining SBS features for the M86, our customers, customers will see time savings of up to 10%. We are proud of our successful SBS program, which has resulted in faster bus rides, safe roadways, and very high customer satisfaction. And another note, to our bus operators who work hard every day, we've had some really positive testimonials this morning that they think things are better for them. So we do appreciate that from our partners at DOT. Thank you for joining us today to celebrate our eighth select bus service route in New York City. Thank you. Thank you, Daryl, and thank you again for your partnership, and we are so glad to hear that for the hard-working bus drivers that they really like the way this service works. It's now my honor to call on the Manhattan, Manhattan Borough President, who has been a wonderful champion on this and so many other transportation projects, Gail Brewer. Thank you very much, Commissioner, and thank you to all of DOT and the MTA and the Community Board, and um, as Andrew Albert knows from the Community Board, we have been talking about this wonderful idea for a long time, like a decade. It's really great not to be able to have to have a pokey award for the M86. So we know that SPS service has led to 15 to 23% per, faster bus speeds and a 10% increase in ridership. And I'm sure that'll happen here. We just need to make sure the seniors know how to use the new machine, Commissioner. That's a very important. And customer satisfaction is at 95% where SBS has been implemented. In 2014, the top 10 slowest bus routes in our city were all cross-town buses in Manhattan. Currently, we have, we have um, cross-town SBS at 34th and 125, and it's exciting to be adding 86. And we know in 2014, the M86 was the eighth slowest in the city at an average mile per hour of 4.6. This will help. And we also know, as the commissioner indicated, the M86 is the second busiest crosstown route in the city and the most crowded bus per mile in New York City. That's why this program is so exciting to be implemented. This new bus service will serve over 25,000 daily passengers to use the bus, and we know that that number will grow as long as we teach the seniors how to use the machines. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. And I want to say, I see, I see Taylor over there. I want to show you one thing we do to help people learn how to use the machines is we have ambassadors out when we start the service. You can come see one of them right here, uh, who stand at every stop and are here for how long will you be out here? Uh, I've been here since 630 and I'll be here until 130. Okay, but we're here, I think we're here for a couple weeks, right? Yeah. Making, we're here for two weeks at every stop so that when seniors or anyone come and they want to know how to use the service, we will have a helpful person there to guide them. So, Thank you. yes, yes. And, and we have found with the other routes, once people get familiar with it, it is a, it does make a lot more sense to buy the ticket before you get on the bus than have everybody stand online to do the swipe. So we will have education out there to help folks. All right, it is now my privilege to introduce another great partner for us who's been part of some of our other transportation projects, State Senator Adriano Espaillat. Senator? Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you, Board President. This is uh, another wonderful initiative. The first one uh, put into motion was in my district further uptown on 207th Street, crossing all the way through Fordham Road and Pelham Parkway. And we're pushing very hard to ensure that 125th Street gets the full route as well. But, you know, much is said about going cross down in Manhattan. Uh, many people feel that uh, often you can do better by just walking. But uh, this effort has really, uh, the SLEP bus service has really ensured that New Yorkers are able to get to their destination uh, faster, safer, and this is a real good initiative. And I've seen it work on 207th Street where it was first implemented. There was some pushback originally as everything in New York City, but now people really love it and, and uh, they, they tell me how, how faster they get to work and to their destination is safe and I think it's a smart initiative that should be uh, emulated across the city of New York particularly in Manhattan where as you know it's tough to get crossed down but I want to congratulate the commissioner I also want to congratulate Margaret 
for Joan, who we love here in Manhattan. She's a great commissioner. She's been around for many years. We love to work with her, and uh, she makes it easier for us to get our, our issues across to the Department of Transportation. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Thank you, Senator. And I know now we have been joined by Assemblywoman Linda Rosenthal. I'd like her to come up and say a few words. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Um, thank you to uh, Commissioner Trottenberg and Manhattan Commissioner Margaret Forgione, the community board, all the electeds, everybody who was involved in getting this to the west side here on 86th Street. You know, west siders love their buses. It provides, riding on a bus provides you a panorama of what's going on in your neighborhood. And it's also just fun to meet your neighbors. I know when I take buses, I often meet a lot of constituents who have complaints or not. But um, I know when they take this M86 uh, uh, special um, transit, they will not have complaints. And that's because it's going to go faster. It's going to go more efficiently. The stops will be the same, but it'll be much more efficient because people will not be fumbling for their Metro cards or whatever. And I think it's a testament to all the wonderful work the DOT is doing. Um, there are lots of other routes they could have chosen to go eight, but it's ours, and I'm very excited about that. Just like to quote Jimi Hendrix, Crosstown traffic, all you do is slow me down. I'm trying to get to the other side of town. But with this service, we're going to get there faster. Thank you. You know it's a good press conference when Jimi Hendrix is being quoted. Thank you for that. <laughs> all right, I think we're going to turn now to some of our wonderful leaders and champions on the city council. And uh, we will start with council member Helen Rosenthal. I just want to say directly to all of those Upper West Side con uh, constituents who have come into my office over the last year and a half and complained about the West 86th Street bus service and how long it takes to go cross town, I have one thing to say to you. Woohoo! This is fantastic. And I want to thank this new mayor, and I'm still going to say this new commissioner, for her willingness to step out and make some serious changes to improve our uh, flow of traffic, to make it easier for the constituents to go across town, and frankly, again, to make it safety, safer for pedestrians and for bikers on the west side. I know that's not what we're talking about, but Commissioner, you've been a champion on all these things. Andrew Alpert and the community board and Gail Brewer, they've been working on this for as long as I was on the community board for 15 years. And here you are and you brought it to fruition. So thank you for that. Um, to constituents who have been complaining about this, I urge you to still call 311, but this time to thank the DOT. Thank you very much. I would like it if someone would call 311 to thank us for something. That would be <laughs> truly amazing. Another terrific leader and partner on the City Council, Council Member Ben Caleb. Good morning, Upper Manhattan. Your morning commute just got easier. With off-board payment, those long lines at 86th Street in York, 86th Street in 1st, 86th Street in 2nd, will be a distant bad memory. Now we'll all be able to just board at once and get where we need to go. The M86 is currently at a uh, 4.6 mile per hour pace according to Nyberg's Strap Hangers campaign and that's actually a pace a little bit slower than most walkers. But now with the 20% improvement we can expect from SBS and more, we're hoping for fast commutes across town and that's something that both Upper East and Upper West Siders can both loud as a great achievement. I just want to take a moment to thank our great leadership, Commissioner Polly Trottenberg, our Manhattan Commissioner Margaret Forgione, her assistant Nana Heyman, as well as Josh Orzik who works with us on so many of those complaints and uh, please do send thank you letters. We're getting lots of them now because of the city bike rollout. Here's another opportunity Please send uh, thank you letters to myself, as well as Helen Rosenthal, our borough president, uh, Gail Brewer. It's a nice way to say thank you. We don't get enough of those. 
Um, I'd also like to thank our Community Board 8 Transportation Chairs, Scott Folk, who's with us today, as well as Chuck Warren, who've been serving for the past couple of years. Um, the good news is none of the stops are going away. We're keeping every single one of them, but we're getting off-board payment. And very importantly, when we did participatory budgeting, one of the top winners was bus time. And as you can see right behind us, we're getting on 86th Street uh, bus time, and you can tell that the next M M86 is one minute away. So that's how I'll be getting back to my office. Uh, and this is something people voted for. We allocated over half a million dollars for in my district. And uh, the next piece is to roll this out to the M79, which did win the Pokey Award. And I just want to thank all of my colleagues as we've been trying to do anything we can to improve transit, transportation. All that time, those millions of hours that we're saving, will translate into dollars for the city, additional tax revenue which we can invest into our transportation system. Thank you and enjoy the ride. Thank you from the, from the Upper East Side and the Upper West Side. And I want to thank the council. It's true, you have been wonderful partners with us in this and investing council funds and countdown clocks. And now, the partner of all partners, the chair of the City Council Transportation Committee, who's been such a great leader on this and so many other transportation issues, Mr. Chairman Adonis Rodriguez. Well, first of all, thank you to the commission. I always say that someone that the city was able to bring us a DOT, but even though being in New York, she also can be the third one in, in the nation when it comes to a spring on transportation. So I know that the expertise that Commissioner Polly bring together with all the leaders, our great board president, assembly member, senator, and all of us, will make a big difference. So today, as everyone knows, the city is committed to continue investing more money when it comes to expanding the SBS. In this budget that we approved for 2016, we invested close to $300 million on transportation. It will help to improve the surface of our street, to take care of the pothole, and also to continue expanding the SBS. You know, it makes a difference. This, this is like the right investment. When we increase, when we put more money to expand the, the, both, the spread both services, not only the the pedestrian, they are able to, to 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 cut the time when they move to one place to the other, but also we save money. So, para mí es muy importante estar aquí agradeciendo a la comisionada Departamento de Transportación en lo que es el primer proyecto de este año que estamos haciendo de expandir el servicio el precio de autobuses. Thank you. In addition to all the elected officials, we have had, I think, a particularly strong partnership with uh, Community Board 7 and Community Board 8, and I know we have from Community Board 7, Chair Elizabeth Caputo. Come up and say a few words. Thank you and welcome to the neighborhood. Um, so we're really excited about this, as you all know. Uh, I myself am going to work a little bit later today, and in a few minutes I'm going to hop on an, an, an SBS and M86 and get the 6 train going to my office in Midtown East. So I'm just one of the many commuters here on the, uh, on the Upper West Side who are going to benefit from this. Um, just a couple of quick things about the work that um, CB7 has done, and we want to be the first to congratulate uh, both the MTA and the DOT for their leadership in making this a reality. Uh, this not only provides uh, safer and faster commutes from west to east, it also allows for better multimodal transportation and for people really from all over the city to access um, our subway systems and to enable folks to travel um, across town. So we're very excited about that. There's also things including off-board uh, fare collection and wayfinding that we are going to find um, especially helpful in this neighborhood in the days and months to come. Uh, as was mentioned, CB7 in particular, our transportation chair, Andrew Albert, has worked tirelessly over the years um, to make this a reality. I'd like to potentially bring him up, if that's possible, to say a word or two. We also have several members from the community who are here on the community board, so thank you very much. Wait, wait, wait. One real quick. Gail? One, two, three. One, two, three. Ready? Gail? Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Elizabeth. I'm sure many of you have ridden the M86 and, and suffered as the dwell time, particularly at Central Park West and at Lexington Avenue, takes place 
and you watch people dip their card, the machine digests the card, four seconds later it spits it up, people are looking at their balance. This is repeated by the hundreds at Lexington, which is obviously in a very important transfer for this bus. And then the second bus, because the first one was so delayed, catches up to it. We have had so many complaints at CB7. Why do I have such long waits? And then two or three buses come together. The, the uh, putting on of select bus service on the M86 should cure that problem, as the dwell time will be extremely reduced as people buy their fare before they get on, they board from any door, um, the bus is speeded along its way, and we should have much more regular service. So a great big thanks to uh, Polly Trottenberg, Commissioner, and Margaret Forgione, Borough Commissioner, and all of the folks in Darrell Eyrick's um, transit, transit uh, bus division who have made this possible. We have had complaints for so many of our riders over the years, and it's just a real thrill to see that we finally got SBS on the M86. So thanks to everybody. Thanks, Andrew. And last but not least, we will now go to community, that's great hearing from the leadership of Community Board 7. Now let's hear from Community Board 8, Scott Falk, who is the co-chair of the Transportation Committee. Scott? Oh, there you go. Hi. Come on up. Hi, right, thank you very much. Um, you know, Community Board 8 learned in 2012 that there would be bus bulbs planned for East 86th Street, at which point we passed a resolution asking for off-board fare collection on the M86 because we saw an opportunity. And in 2013, Community Board 7 followed our lead, and we really appreciated that collaboration. And, you know, it's only a couple years after that that we already have this great upgrade on the M86 line. And on the east side, we have the M15 select bus service, which was the first SPS route in Manhattan, and we've seen great success with that. So uh, I'm thrilled to see this uh, launching today, and I look forward to seeing um, what else we can get out of you guys. I also want to thank uh, from DOT, um, you know, in addition to the commissioner and the borough commissioner, I'd like to thank um, Josh Orzak and Eric Beaton uh, for their help, and um, from New York City Transit, Marcus Book and Robert Marino, who really helped work with us to make this launch successfully. So thank you very much. Did I, did, I get, did I get everybody? All right, good. We're ready to... Questions from members of the media, yeah. please. Now, I'm going to let Daryl speak about that. Now we have the Eagle teams. Daryl, can I come up and give the answer on that? Right. Uh, Along with our SBS program, we have the Eagle Team, which are New York City Transit employees that go out and validate the fare, and they're on all, they uh, monitor all of our bus routes. Today, they're out helping us assist and educate the customers to acclimate to the new service and to let them know um, that we will be checking fare cards. But we remain ever hopeful. There will be only in a couple of spots, I think. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Just, yeah, that we're going to have it in some segments where you can't make it work in every. I mean, this is a pretty busy roadway, so we're going to put it in places where it won't in, it won't interfere with other operations in the roadway. Uh, can you just, yeah. Can you uh, lay out where the bus only lanes are on this route? Exactly. I can hear a word you're saying. <laughs> Can you lay out where the bus only lanes are on this new uh, select bus route? Yeah. I just, does anyone have a picture that shows that? All right. Well, look down. Let us find that for you. Yes. One place I know you you don't like. So it's not on a it's not on the entire route. Correct. Is there any concerns, right? is there any concerns then about how this is going to impact speed or if this is needed to make it? Faster. Again, I think we put it in a few key spots where it's strategic, but one thing we're, we're promising, and I know we're hearing some concerns about it, we're going to test this out, we're going to monitor. Obviously, our goal here is to improve bus service, but also to make sure, best it can, the traffic keeps flowing on 86th Street. Yes. Hi. Um, there's been some concerns from parents who have children who use the M86 line basically as a bus line to get from the west side. I'm sorry. I have to come a little close. I'm, you know, as usual, I always do press conferences in noisy spots. No, they're, 
their school pass is accepted fair medium, so it's, there is no issue. Okay? Yes. Uh, I, I won't get into the specifics, but their, their card is a Metro card type of fair media. So you could use it just as anyone else would use their Metro card. So it's pretty much the same. Yes. You know what? Um, actually, I think I'm going to grab Eric to give the latest detail. I don't want to get the schedule wrong. So Eric, Eric is the head of DOT's transit program, and he has the best information. Hi, good morning, everyone. Uh, the question was about the timeline for the Woodhaven Boulevard uh, Select Bus Service Project. And we, we've been working very closely with the community there. And, and the goal is to really be transferring it to the Department of Design and Construction by the end of the year to start the real civil design process. And we'll see how that goes with you know utilities and, and getting into underground work. It is a much more substantial project, so I think that the time frame is going to be longer than the typical SPS project. And as far as fair payment goes, is this the way in the future beyond SPS, putting it on more local lines? Yeah, I mean, I think. I, I think that's a balancing act, but uh, Daryl, I don't know if you want to speak. I mean, I think we'd like to see more of it on regular local lines. Yeah, that would be a plus for us. I mean, that would be the optimum until we have a new fare payment system, um, which is really contingent upon our capital program. Um, you know, certainly that would be a plus for all bus routes. Currently now, we can only exercise that on SBS uh, routes. That answers the question. Okay. Any other questions? All right. And one more. Okay. The mayor's goal. Talk is in your outside voice, Dan. Okay. The mayor's goal is 20 select bus routes. You, this is number eight. Are you confident you're going to reach this goal of an extra 12 by the end of his, you know, the next uh, two and a half years? I mean, look, I think we have a terrific partnership with the MTA. We're going to make great progress if all goes well. We'll be rolling out three new routes this year, and we're going to do our best to get to 20. But look, we'll have to see how we do. We have. The MTA's got to figure out its capital plan up in Albany, so we may have some bigger factors we have to work with, but I think we're making great progress, and it's really been a terrific partnership. All right, thank you all. Yeah,